All right, this one might be, is gonna be a tough. So you guys understand the radians, right? The radian go went from here down to there. So now, let's do a unit circle with 11 pi over nine. Now, first of all, the negative, again, is gonna tell us we're gonna go in this direction. So remember, here's my initial side. So I'm always gonna start here. And then the negative direction is gonna tell me to go this direction, because that's negative. Now, the hard part is, how far do I go around the circle, all right? So we have to remember a couple things about a unit circle. One thing I told you guys was, halfway around was pi, right? And if you remember going to our radians, one, two, three, point one four one five nine, right? That's pi. That was for radians. So therefore, when we're dealing with this, we know this is pi, okay? So if I, if I was gonna go, we start from here, which would be zero, go to pi, and then if I go all the way over here, that would be like going around for two pi, right? right? Okay, so now, if here's pi and here's two pi, what we have is we have pi, but we have it with as a kind of a fractional form, right? Oh, and it's an improper fraction with nine as our denominator. So what I wanna do is I'm going to manipulate these with our denominator nine. So whenever you have a denominator for these problems, change your answers to that denominator. Instead of writing pi, I can write nine pi over nine, right? Because nine over nine is one. And instead of writing two pi, I can write 18 over nine pi. Because what's 18 divided by nine? Two. Do you guys see how I manipulated that? Right? Just like fractions, to add fractions, we have to manipulate the one so they have the same denominators, right? Okay. So now, what you guys can see is, well, obviously, okay, from here to here, Ms. McGlogan, is 9 pi over 9, right? So 11 pi, where is that going to go? Is it going to be in here or to here? Now, you guys might be able to visually, spatially see where it's going to go, but let's just kind of see where, well, what is halfway? Well, halfway between 9 and 18 is what, like 14.5? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's going to be 9, right? There's 9 between there, so you're going to add... 13.5? Um, yes. Okay. The thing about this, I'm just saying is here's. If I said here was 4 and here was 0, halfway between there would be 2, right? So that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is halfway between 9 and 18, what's half, what's, you know, halfway between 9, nine and 18? 13.5. So I'm saying it'd be like 13.5 pi over 9. You don't need to calculate this, but I'm trying to help you see. So where is, and remember, this is all negative, right? Because we're going in the negative direction. So where is 11 going to be? It's going to be somewhere, like right around, you know, I don't know, there. So therefore, that's a negative 11 pi over 9. Do you guys see how I get this? Make sure you go in the negative direction. It's in going in the negative direction, and it's going to be between negative nine pi and and your negative thirteen pi over thirteen point five pi over nine. So yes. Any time you always change the um, the denominator to the top one. Yes. How you did the negative nine over nine. You don't have to change it, but it's going to help you visually see how to do it. And I'll give you an example of three different three different types of problems, and you'll see how we change it. Okay. Anybody have a bigger question on this? Thank you.